If any design ever feels like a slow grind, you're not alone. I used to spend hours before I discovered these simple tips that improve my workflow no end. And if we haven't met, my name's Darren Goddard, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I got way faster at InDesign and how you can too. Let's jump into it. First thing I like to do when I start a new project is set up some default colors and fonts so I don't have to select them each time I start a new document for the project. So what we need to do is go to swatches. So if you haven't got it open, then you can go under window, color, and then swatches or F5 is the shortcut key. So we're just gonna make some default swatches. So we'll go to the drop down here and make a new color swatch. We'll make it blue. Put some 50 in there. We've got a nice blue there. And then we'll go again, make another one. We'll make a green. So we'll take that out. We'll put, say, 80% yellow. We've got a green. So we've got our two new swatches there. So we'll close that. And then we'll open up the character window. Then we'll go to the character window. So if you haven't got it there, I'll click on it there. You can see I've got it already. You can go up to type and then character. And that will bring it up so at the moment we've got a font of minion pro which is the default font so we want to change that so we'll select here and we'll go for avenir we'll click on that so all you need to do now is just quit in design so we'll quit in design and then what will happen now is when we relaunch it you'll see that all the fonts that we set up and the swatches are defaulted for when we start a new document so InDesign's back open. So if you go under the swatches window, you'll see the new colors we set up are here. And under the font, the default font is the Avenir, which is we set up as well. Another great way to start is having your document preset. So if you're using a regular size, you can create a template. So you'll always be able to select that size rather than recreating it every time. So go up to file, new document. We can type in the size we want here. So we'll have 100 by 150 and then we hit this button here to save it there's all these settings here i've got a video dedicated to this which i'll link to the top of the screen now in the meantime what we'll do is we'll save it as 100 by 150 and we'll save the preset and see it's dropped into the saved section here so we'll just close that and now you go file new document and under saved you'll see that your new files here so you select that you can also delete it here create and there you've got your new document at that size the next one i like to use are keyboard shortcuts so if you go under edit keyboard shortcuts you've got so many here and i could do a dedicated video going through all these but the one i like to use is under the window menu and arranging documents so i like to have this one here which is arranged two vertical so when you're checking that two documents it will put them side by side so what you need to do is make a new shortcut for that so i'll call it control 2 and i'll assign that and you'll get this pop-up and it will say you can't modify the default set so you have to start a new one so we'll hit yes and we'll call it test okay so now you can see under there we've got control 2 under the set test so we're okay with that command n and then if it was a pc it will be control n i'll just do that again and make another file so now we've got two documents so if i hit the shortcut control 2 you can see it's tiled them next to each other which makes it a lot easier than going up to the window going under arrange and then selecting the one do you prefer using keyboard shortcuts or the right click or the contextual menus in design let me know in the comments down below on to number four character styles so this is where you can set up certain characters styles fonts etc which you're going to use repetitively and it saves a hell of a lot of time so what we'll do is go under the type menu and then we'll go to character styles and we get this pop up so at the moment there isn't any in there i'm just going to take you through this very quickly but if you'd like a dedicated video let me know in the comments down below so we're going to set a new style so it will just default to that so you double click on that and then i'm just going to call this black 
So we're going to set font to the style of black. So we'll go to the characters, font family, we'll go to Avenue, and then we'll go black. And we'll OK that. So we'll go back to that one for now. So if I now Command N or Control N on PC, new document. I'll just put a text box under type filled with placeholder text. So we've just got some placeholder text. So if we select a word and click on black, you'll see it's now changed to that font and weight that we selected in this character styles. Very useful as well is number five, which were paragraph styles. It's similar to character styles, but this based on a paragraph rather than a character. So once again, we'll go up to type, paragraph styles, click new, double click on it. And we can just call this test one. And here again, you can set your fonts. So, We'll go for, say, Monaco, for example. You can do all different things. Here, there's loads of different settings. And if you'd like a dedicated video on this, then let me know in the comments and I'll make one. So for now, we'll just keep it as it is. OK that. Go back to the basic one. Draw our text box again. Fill it with some placeholder copy once again. As I said before, this works on paragraphs. So if I go Command Option I on a Mac, and it will be Control Alt I on a PC, you'll see we've got the indicators here showing paragraphs. So if I put the cursor in there and click on Test, it changes that whole paragraph to the font we set up, which was Monaco. Note, because this is a new paragraph, it hasn't touched that. And then what we can do, we can highlight that we can go back over to our character styles and we can select that. So we've changed that now. So you can actually apply a paragraph style and then a character style within that paragraph style. So for this tip, we've got step and repeat and how to copy. So basically what we're going to do here, we're just going to draw a rectangle. You can hold down shift to constrain it into a square. And then rather than going command C, command V and trying to line it up or on a PC, control C, control V, and then again, trying to line it up, we can hold down the option key on a Mac or the alt key on a PC and see the cursor changes. And if we hold shift, it will constrain it and we can just duplicate it like that. So that's one way. So the other way to do it is using step and repeat. So we'll select all our shapes, Option Command U on a Mac, and it will be Control Alt U on a PC. So with our shape selected still, we can basically offset by 30 millimeters. So, and the count is two. So what it's gonna do, is gonna take your original and repeat it twice with a vertical gap of 30 millimeters and then you can OK that. So this is a great way of quickly duplicating shapes, text boxes, images, etc. Number seven, preview mode. So I love this because when you're looking at a document, you have guides on, you have text frames, you have lots of different things like this. But when you use preview mode, you basically just see what you're going to end up with when you print it. So for example, we'll do a text box. Type, we'll fill with some placeholder text, get a shape. We'll get a frame for an image. So you've got all the frames around. You've got all the misspelled words because this is Lauren Ipsum. You've got it going outside the document area. So if you hit W on your keyboard, then you see now it's gone to preview mode and you're only going to see what will print. 
but that is just a nice tidy way so once you've done your work with the guides etc you can just see what you're going to end up with those are the tips that seriously boosted my speed in InDesign and if you start to use them you'll see the difference too if this has been helpful please give me a thumbs up subscribing to the channel for more content like this and if you've got any questions or any speed up tips of your own drop them down in the comments below so and share with the group and if you'd like this tutorial in a PDF format, then a faster in the comment box below and I'll send you over a PDF. Thanks for watching. Now go and crush your next project. Keep creating. And just before you go, check out my next video here.